Fazid and uh, <laughs> it's been a while. I think we were following Enri and uh, the people in that village with Inferia and there was some wolf and now there's going to be a war. So that's what I remember. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, we're just going to get into it so we can kind of refresh our memories. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Check out our Patreon and our social media and join the Discord, please. I need more daddies. That's an yeah, ugly fucking thing, you. bro. Let's talk more once we're inside the village, Goku. Smart idea! Huh? Oh, hey! <laughs> Good old Annie. You still make the cutest little scream when you're scared. Oh, Miss Lupus. What the fuck? Well... I was just... No! Don't tell me! Oh, you stole Envy's girl from right under his nose! <laughs> well, she got a keyblade on her back? A tragedy. That's a cool weapon. I feel like I've seen her. She was probably in season one or something. Hmm. She went irons, right? I'm not bugging. I found her. I think she's wearing the same maid thing as uh, Nabe and shit. Originally, the forest was controlled by the great... If you cover his mouth... <laughs> <laughs> He's got a face. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is fucking ugly. <laughs> I just covered his mouth just to see what it looked like. And it looks like he's smiling. <laughs> well, you gotta wait till he's looking directly. Now do it. <laughs> That's fucking gross. The giant of the east and the demon snake of the west are gathering their forces for an attack on the king of ruin. They seem to want to use all hmm. of us goblins as foot soldiers or as emergency rations. So most of us decided to just hide from them. If you're in a bind, mm -hmm. I could always ask Lord Eins to help you out. Mm. This is our village, so let's protect it ourselves. Oh, Miss Beta, could I take a bit of your time? Her name is Beta? If it's not, we haven't replicated a fully red potion yet, but I think this is a step in the right direction. I'm sure Lord Eins will be equally pleased. She don't look like a weirdo though. Like she doesn't look like wow. I was right you know, somebody that like oh, kills so you by so sucking so her so sucking so you into her titties so and shit. Just... I've seen Miss Inri beat down a bar guest and break its neck with just one hand. After that she drained its blood into a cup and drank it. Oh fuck. Seriously? Are you trying to scare <laughs> the kid, Goku? I gotta say though, this is one crazy tribe. That's a fucking ugly thing, bro. I can't get over <laughs> it. <laughs> Why they give him a knot on his head? We managed to find a few members of Agu's tribe. See, we captured the five ogres who were chasing them. Ogres? We told them about the village, and they said they wouldn't mind joining us. Huh? Damn. Listen up, ogres. This is our boss, Miss Henry. Your lives are in her hands. So you better show respect and hope she's in a good mood. Lower your heads at once! Oh, I'm scary. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some bitch ass I golems. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you mean. Well, how useful are they? are they? I only did that because Jugum asked me to. Honestly, I spent the entire time scared that they would eat me. I understand. Oh my but God. even though they say all ogres are man eaters, I think that just means they're carnivores. About us going to Erantel. Oh yeah. I'm nervous about going to the city, but I'll try oh not to. Oh my God, don't you. ruin it. Sorry. Why? I Could you stay the home? Goblins we rescued from Agu's oh. tribe, so I won't be able to join you. I bet I'm the only person in the world in this bind. It's so weird suddenly having to act like I'm above other people. <sighs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I had some sympathy. <laughs> so, listen. I was really. Reveal the magic item you tried to sneak into the city. Do you mean this thing? <gasps> what? <Crazy> little <laughs> magic item. <laughs> Tell us how you obtained that artifact, Wench. Well, <laughs> Wench. It was a present I got from Lord Ein's old Gon, the spellcaster who saved my village. That horn can summon a horde of foul goblins, <sighs> though I don't actually know the exact number per se. How do you know? Yes. If you couldn't appraise it. Parts dangerous and mm. valuable. If her claim that she's nothing more than a village girl were true, Ooh, this animation looks kind of bad. She must be playing <laughs> something nefarious. No, I, no I'm other... sorry, but you've made a mistake. I'm just oh, a girl. Get rid of these the fucking TV. NPCs. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Without magic, I swear. What's this about? Huh? I? Nice. Oh. Well, if it isn't Momon. Momon. You're the gentleman who came to my village with Envy, aren't you? But 
how do you know my name? I do research on all these bitches. <laughs> that should be his response. <clears throat> Release the girl at once. Emma to she Farm lucked Village. out. We grant you entry into Erantel. Oh, thank you. You guys have a nice day. I thought she was gonna run into Irons, but not this soon. Yeah. <clears throat> And then he just fucked off. Yeah, we said the same thing. He just fucked off. Lord, greetings, Mr. Momon. Thank you to ask you a quick question. I guess you just remind me of another pretty person I know. Your personality. Yeah, the best the maids, right? What business do you have in Iran town? First, I'm gonna visit the temple. I plan to see if any of the homeless there would like to move to our village. Then I need to post a job at the Adventurers Guild, sell these medicinal herbs, and purchase supplies. I understand. Farewell. She got a whole quest log. And then she fucks off too, well, like... Both of those creatures are incredibly powerful. I'm afraid that only Adamantite class adventurers can accept your request. Of course! There's one around? Their services come at a very high price. Could I get an estimate of what the cost might be? <sighs> that shit about to be mad money. Calculate it. She gotta sell her horn or something? <laughs> I could always make some money by selling this horn. Don't but sell the horn. It's a gift. It would be ungrateful of me to pawn it off like that. Yeah, don't sell that shit. You might need it. Miss Edward of move. Karn Village, or no? <laughs> what the fuck is About going on? About the village's request. May I ask for some additional information, please? I shudder at the thought of missing any shred of information. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Is that Alberta? Her voice actor? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah, I know. If I woke up and someone had their head between my knees, I'd be like, oh, "Fuck Edward. are you doing?" And I'd check my dick. <laughs> you check it. <laughs> Let me make sure it's still there. <laughs> Let us join in prayer and thank our God for blessing you on this day. <laughs> then let's join as husband and wife. We heard oh. that last part, Koda. <laughs> okay. like nice. <laughs> I was planning to wait until we got back home, but actually, I think this might be the perfect time. Kaijali, Goko, Unlai, Nozali, Sweet Yo, mm. Sweet Yo. Sword, I quick, bet. quick thing for the YouTube people. I bet you there's someone out there who knows the name for every single one of those goblins. Probably. Glad to help. I'll always be grateful for every last one. I'm forever in your debt. You're so kind. Yeah, she's she's not gonna sell it. Oh, and plus it looked like uh, Ayn's put in a word for her anyway. Hmm. Yeah. Uh oh, who's this? Well, I hope you'll at least consider it. I will. Hmm. I need a little time to think things over right now, Kaijali. Hey, yo! Miss Lupus Regina! Save me! I'm being assaulted! Oh, God. Oh, I no, was gonna go oh, down it was just... <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to upset you. I was just making a cute little joke. Your big sis, Lupus Regina, has got your back, okay? Lupus Regina. Ask the question. <laughs> the village she's tall as shit. I'd run the village straight into the ground. Oh, she's supposed... They, they want her to be the replacement. I should just turn them down, shouldn't That's I? That's a toughie. I don't know. Huh? A toughie. I can only say this much. Ooh. Whoever the village chief may be, they're going to make mistakes. Oh. There have only... Why is he saying it so sexually? I'm going to make some... <laughs> make some mistakes. Uh. He's so fucking weird. <laughs> God, bro. What? Just, just cut the hair, please. Can you imagine him staring at you in the dark? That would be fucking scary, bro. I really think you should do it. And why is that? I'm just no. Cause I need a haircut. You lead all the goblins. If you were to become village chief, that would make this your village. Knowing that, the goblins would fight for it. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're all brainwashed because of the horn. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we have owned it. Instead of using them as slaves, you treat them as partners. The others aren't rude, but have you ever heard them call a goblin by his name? I know I haven't. Mm. Mm. Me neither. I actually haven't heard it either. If my opinion matters to you, I think you would be good at this kind of thing. All right then. Thanks for the advice. I'm on my way to talk to the village chief. Once a choice has been made, there's no point delaying. She really is doing it. This is so exciting. A new leader has been born in this village. Unless 
Something wicked was to come along and snuff out her spark just as it was about to kindle. Oh shit. Oh shit. Just the thought of them screaming out as they're crushed underfoot like insects makes me tremble with excitement. Oh shit. I just really hope this village burns. Alright, so first things first. Yeah, it, the first time it zoomed in on her face and she said some shit sexually and stuff, mm -hmm. you immediately said, like literally one second after it happened, you're like, oh, I, I, I don't think she's that weird. She doesn't, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I just <laughs> did this dramatic zoom in and she said some weird shit. And then it did it like a couple more times. So yeah, she's interesting, I guess. Um, as a comment on the episode as a whole, I honestly don't really care about Enri or Inferior. Um, it's been two episodes on this now. Mm. Uh, so I just I just don't find their characters particularly interesting because um, uh, it's just like a very slice of life uh, scenario we've got going on. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait for things to pick up a little bit. Uh, yeah. So for me, I uh, as I was watching it when the credits rolled before I even spoke uh, I was like well you said let's check for end credits so we checked for end credits and we saw the end credits my first thought was man this episode was ass <laughs> uh, <laughs> not because like I need action and people fighting and all that shit it's just like you said man I really don't give a shit um I'm more interested in like, you know, the people that they introduced at the beginning of the fucking last season and like, mm. you know, the conflict that we need to solve and more world building. Like you already told us about this village. We already know these people are there. Like, I really don't care. But yeah. when the end credit scene came up, uh, it made me feel like, OK, this like the whole episode, there was a point to it. You know what I'm saying? Now, if the next episode doesn't act on it <laughs> or like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, move it forward or something, you know what I'm saying? Or like, I don't want it to do the overlord thing and like, you know, I hope this village burns and then we never see anything about it. <laughs> like they just fucking fuck off and then that's it. That's what I don't want. I, I, I hope episode four gives us a little bit more into that and then then it'd be worth it but if they don't say shit i'm gonna be like wow that episode was kind of cheeks yeah and uh just to clarify i do like the series as a whole um, yeah. this episode was just a bit boring um yeah. but i am interested to see uh what's happening with i believe they're called the pleiades the maids mm -hmm. um so lupus regina mm -hmm. uh she's looking over the village uh at ein's behest i believe she was dropped there in season one uh ein's left her there to look over them mm. so i don't think she has bad intentions but yeah she just wants to see them get fucked up for some reason for her own personal pleasure or whatever. Pro probably because she's what? not human <laughs> yeah. she's like whatever it'll be it'll be funny i mean and that's cool you know yeah. i like someone who's a bit different so uh it'll be interesting but she said too like it would be a shame if like something wicked happens you you think like she would do something wicked or she was just really saying it would be a shame <laughs> yeah I, I don't think she'd do anything personally uh I think it's just because they've uh, had that other situation brewing, which they, they didn't really go into huge details this episode, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, that goblin who, or that little guy with the smiley face on his head <laughs> <laughs> uh, had escaped from some place that was doing some shit. So. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll see. There's not, I, I mean, I really don't have much else to say about this episode. So, but yeah. um, I guess we'll see. We'll find out. You know, cool. yeah. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Check out our Patreon and our social media, and join the Discord so you can be my new daddy. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> you look so confused. <laughs>